Welcome to Kalpana's Engineering Mathematics. Now I am going to explain you gauss seidel iteration method. This method is a modification of Jacobi's method. First I will explain the working rule, then I will solve one problem. So let us consider system of linear equations a1x plus b1y plus c1z equals to d1 a2x plus b2y plus c2z equals to d2 a3x plus b3y plus c3z equals to d3. So these are the, the linear equations a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3 are the coefficients of x, y and z and x, y, z are the unknowns, d1, d2, d3 are the, the constants. So to solve the equations, what we have to do is first observe the take the this is equation one and this is equation two and this is equation number three. So observe the equation one. If a one the coefficient of x that is a one is larger than b one and c one, so rewrite the equation for x. So that is a one x equals to just rearranging the equation d one minus b1 by minus c1z or x equals to 1 by a1 into d1 minus b1 by minus c1z. So if a1 is larger than b1 and c1 then rewrite the equation for x. Similarly if y is larger than so b2 is larger than a2 and c2 then rewrite the equation for y so y equals to 1 by b2 d2 minus a2x minus c2 z and if c3 is larger than a3 and b3 then write the equation for z in terms of x and y. So z equals to 1 by c3 d3 minus a3x plus b3y. So this is the, the first step. Just rearranging the equation for x, y and z. So this is the first step and our Approximation process will start now. In Jacobi's method, we take x0 equals to y0 equals to z0 equals to 0. But in the gauss seidel iteration method, the new approximation here also x0 is y0 equals to z0 equals to 0. But to find the x1 value, just we are substituting y0 and the z0 then we will get the x1. So if y, y, y is 0 and z is 0 then x1 equals to d1 by a1. So this is the, the first value x1 value. Then for finding the y1 value. So y1 equals to 1 by b2 d2 in place of x. In Jacobi's method, we are just substituting x0 equals to 0. But in the gauss seidel method, just we use the previous value, x1 value. So d2 minus a2 x2, sorry x1. And c2 z, z is the z0 value. And for finding z1, the z1 equals, z equals to 1 by c3 d3 minus a3 x1 and this is minus minus b3 y1 so in the gauss seidel iteration method we use the new values in the, the next step so the same processor, suppose if you take 
for the second approximation or second iteration x1 e x2 equals to so x2 equals to 1 by a1 d1 minus b1 put y equals to y1 and z equals to z1 for y2 1 by b2 d2 minus a2 in place of x in place of x we are substituting the the new value so that is x2 and c to z so c to z1 and z2 equals to 1 by c3 d3 minus a3 x2 minus c3 b3 y2 so the same procedure is repeated till the last two successive uh, iteration values are the same so this is about the gauss seidel iteration method solve the following equations 20x plus y minus 2z equals to 17 3x plus 20y minus z equals to minus 18 2x minus 3y plus 20z equals to 25 using gauss seidel iteration method this is our problem so first rewrite the equations for x y and z so that is the first step so take the first equation so this is equation 1 2 3 and observe the the coefficients of x y z so the x coefficient is 20 y coefficient is 1 and z coefficient is minus 2 so the x coefficient is larger than y and z coefficient so rewrite this equation for x so 20 x equals to 17 minus y plus 2z or x equals to 1 by 20 17 minus y plus 2z and for the second equation observe the coefficients x coefficient is 3 y coefficient is 20 and z coefficient is minus 1 so y coefficient is higher than x and z coefficients so write this equation for y so y equals to uh, 20 y equals to minus 18 minus 3x plus z uh, y equals to 1 by 20 minus 18 minus 3x plus z and in the third equation obviously the z coefficient is the larger than x and y coefficients so 20z equals to 25 minus 2x plus 3y or z equals to 1 by 20 25 minus 2x plus 3y so these are the the new equations these are the equations for x, y and z. This is 4 and this is 5 and this is 6. Now our iteration process will start. The first iteration so first put y equals to y equals to y naught equals to 0 and z equals to z naught equals to 0. So put y y naught equals y equals to 0 and z equals to z naught equals to 0 then x1 x1 equals to so what is x1 1 by 20 17 minus y naught plus 2 z naught so put y equals to 0 z equals to 0 then x1 equals to 17 by 20 so that is 0 
Now for y1 put so y in terms of x and z. So x equals to x1 so that equals to just take the new value of x so 0.85 and z equals to z naught equals to 0. So y1 equals to so what is y1? 1 by 20 minus 18 minus 3 x1 plus z naught. So put 3 x1 is 0 0.81. So 1 by 20 minus 80 minus 3 into 0 0.85 plus z z naught is 0. So the value is minus 1.0275. Now z1 for z z in terms of x and y. So put x equals to x1. So what is the x1 value? x1 value is 0 0.85 and y equals to y1. So y1 equals to minus 1.0275. So then z1 equals to 1 by 20 25 minus 2x1 plus 3y1. So just substitute x is 0 0.85 and y is minus 1.0275 then you will get 1.0109 so this is the, the z1 first iteration the values x1 is 0.85 and y1 is 1 minus 1.0275 and z1 is 1.0109 now go for the, the second iteration For second iteration, put y1 equals to minus 1.0275 and z1 equals to 1.0109 and x2 equals to what is the x2? 1 by 20, 17 minus y1 plus 2, z1. So in, after substituting these values in this equation, you will get 1.0025. For finding y2 value, put x equals to x2 equals to 1.0025 and z1 is 1.0109. Then y2 equals to so 1 by 20 minus 18 minus 3 x2 plus z1. Just substitute x2 equals to 1.0025 and z1 is 1.0109. Then you will get minus 0 0.9998. Then for finding z2 value, use the, the new values of x and y. So z2 equals to 1 by 20, 25 minus 2 x2 plus 3 y2. Just substitute x2 equals to 1 point, x2 is 1.0025 and y2 is minus 0 0.9998. Then you will get 0 0.99. 8. Now compare x2 and x1. So x1 is 0 0.85 and this is 1.0025. So th those two values are not same. Then we can go for the third iteration. In the third iteration, third iteration, put x2 equals to so x2 value is 1.0025 and y2 is minus 0 0.998 minus 0 
and x3 x3 is 1 by 20 and the equation is 1 by 20 17 minus y2 plus 2 z2 to substitute y2 is x2 z and z2 is 0 0.998 so substitute y2 equals to minus 0 0.9998 and z2 is 0 0.998 then x3 is 1.00 now take x3 value equals to 1 and z3 value z2 value is 0 0.998 and find the y3 so y3 equals to 1 by 20 minus 18 minus 3 x3 plus z2 so substitute x3 equals to 1 and z2 equals to 0 0.998 then you will get minus 1.00 and similarly if you feel this video is informative please like share and subscribe my channel Click the bell icon for quick updates. Put x3 equals to 1 and y3 equals to minus 1. Then z3 equals to 1 by 20. 25 minus 2 x3 plus 3 y3. Just substitute x3 equals to 1 and y3 equals to minus 1. Then you will get z3 equals to 1. Now compare the x3 values and x2 values. So x3 is 1.0025 and x3 is 1. And y2 is minus 0 0.9998 and y3 equals to minus 1. And z2 is 0 0.998 and z3 is 1. So both are exactly same. So therefore we can stop the iteration process. Hence the solution is x equals to 1, y equals to minus 1 and z equals to 1.